Hi everybody, Willie here. So um, we are getting into chapter four now. Um, and what we're going to be doing, the fancy word is called metabolic flux modeling or MFA. Um, it's really the, just the detailed reactions of the catabolism that we are going to be looking at. I'm going to try and rather make separate videos and keep the video short. So this specific video is on defining rates. So let's get. So um, let's just start again with our cell. I'm going to draw a bit of a fatter one. You remember from yesterday we had the distinct free regions of the cell where basically glucose came in. You remember the glucose splitting up and basically we had some nitrogen source as well coming in and all those millions of reactions we're not modeling but we have an exit product here which is the biomass coming out. Some of the glucose then goes into the catabolism over here and this is where we're going to be modeling in detail. So all the different reactions, the split ups that we're going to be getting um, is going to be looked at in detail and really the reason we're doing this is to be able to get more overall stoichiometric coefficients. So there's some product products that exit the specific reaction, uh, the specific um, metabolism of the cell. So what we have is we can say the rates of product one, for example, the rate of product three. What you will see is that I will be numbering all the fluxes of the catabolism. Right on the arrows, you'll see um, small little numbers. So these will be representing the internal rates. So if I say internal rates, you look at these arrows in the catabolism where we're going to be modeling the basically the glycolysis and sections of the TCA cycle and where we've got oxygen, some oxidative phosphorylation. We're going to be considering these arrows also as rates. So in a sense, there's two types of rates. There's the excretion rates, which is accompanied by the uptake rates, but there's also internal rates. This little lecture is just to say that all of these rates represented by arrows when we do metabolic flux, flux models is given by the, we, use, we still use the notation R, but uh, and this will be of component E, I, maybe somewhere in the system. And it's very important to have a look at the units of the rate. The units of rate for the whole of chapter 4 will be C mole of the component that is reacting per, and this is important, C mole X per hour. Okay, so uh, there's no R to hour. So what we have is when we use this C mol X here, it is the basis and it's the common basis we're going to use throughout the whole course. What this is, is really, the C mol X is really just a specific quantity of cells. So you can relate it to a mass of cells. Okay. Um, it is always used as the basis for all the rates. So whether we're working of substrate, it will be C mol glucose per C mol X reacting, or whether we're working with products, C mol product form per C mol X reacting, or even if we're working with internal rates, it will be numbered by one to whatever number we end up with, will be C moles of that specific component per the basis C mol X and per hour, we always use an hour, because um, uh, these, these bugs don't react that fast, minutes or seconds will be too short. So, in essence, what we're going to be doing in this chapter is to model the catabolism in detail. You will see that the anabolism, like we've done in the previous section, is just one overall reaction. And you know from previous, or from the previous lecture, I can quickly do it again, that ATP will be generated in some of the um, catabolic pathways. The ATP will then be used to build biomass because that's an energy intensive reaction making biomass. And also it will be used, and I'm gonna put a theta here, you'll, you'll know why I use theta later on, um, to serve the maintenance requirements of the bugs. One last note, Rx, Rx that we have over here has a specific name that is used in literature and in 
biochemical textbooks, and that is called mu. So just get used to Rx with the units like we have over here, having the Greek letter U attached to it. So what is the unit of Rx? It will be C mol X per C mol X. So that's the interesting one where the moles forming is based on the moles, C moles that you have in the reactor. So U will have units of Rx is equal to mu and it will have units of 1 over hour because the C moles that form is the C moles that is the basis. That's a specific rate that we'll be using a lot. Okay, so that's enough for now. In the next section, we'll be looking in detail on how to set up the catabolic network so that we can describe the internal rates. See you later.